Every player takes the battlefield and draws a starting hand of five cards from the hero deck. The starting player receives two gold tokens from the supply, while all other players each receive four gold tokens. The hero player receives two gold tokens from the general supply and draws one card from the hero deck. Number of gold tokens you pay to play this card. Number of dice used when attacking with this unit. Number of dice used when defending with this unit. Number of spaces that this unit's attack can reach. Number of spaces that this unit may move during its turn. A unit is destroyed when it receives this number of wound markers. This unit's special ability. The hero player may now recruit as many units or cast spells as they wish, as long as they are able to pay the gold cost for each unit or spell. Find the matching unit token from the supply and place it on an empty space in the hero row of the hero player's battlefield. The hero player may now move and attack with any of the hero units on their battlefield in any order. Units only move forward and may not change columns. Now the monsters get their turn and try to defeat the heroes of Andoria. Monster supply works differently to that of the heroes. Players do not receive any gold tokens from the supply. The monster player draws three cards from the monster deck and shows them to the hero player. The monster player may now pay to recruit any of these monster cards to the hero player's battlefield. Any cards not played are placed in the monster discard pile and are not added to the monster player's hand. The monster player decides to play all three cards and pays their cost of three gold tokens. He places the unit tokens on an empty space in the monster row of the hero player's battlefield. The spell, Power of the Beast, is casted on Medusa, giving her two more dice to roll during her attacks. The monster player attacks the knight with Medusa and rolls three hits, one critical hit and one regular hit. The hero player defends with his knights and rolls a critical shield, blocking two of the three hits from Medusa. The knight receives a wound marker and has one life point remaining. Medusa's special ability, Double Strike, permits her to attack a second time. The monster player now rolls three hits. Unfortunately, the defense roll of the hero player only results in one shield. The knight is destroyed and removed from the board. The monster player can now continue moving with his Medusa. The hero player's turn ends and the monster player now begins a new hero phase on his own battlefield as a new hero player. The game ends immediately when any player has two hero units on the monster row of their battlefield. If two monster units reach the hero row of any player's battlefield, then that player is immediately eliminated from the game. Recruit some of the fastest units. Use unique abilities when it gets rough. Block enemy's path by recruiting resistant units and support from afar. Destroy enemy forces with the might of powerful epic units. Set up barriers and cast spells to weaken enemies. Or fight power with even more power. 